Bill Clinton says he'll only tax the rich to pay for his campaign promises. But here's what Clinton economics could mean to you. $1,088 more in taxes. $2,072 more in taxes. 100 leading economists say his plan means higher taxes and bigger deficits. $1,191 more in taxes. $2,072 more in taxes. You can't trust Clinton economics. It's wrong for you. It's wrong for America. So I saw the debate last night, and I just got one conclusion. It's all George Bush. I, have, I, st I still have a lot of confidence in my president. I feel we need Bush to keep us from a big spending Congress. I don't trust him. The man says one thing and does another. First he de denies it, and then he says, well, maybe it happened. Uh, you can't trust him. Clinton gets in. What we're going to see are more yeah. taxes. One thing that, that's got me definitely for Bush is I remember what happened the last time we did things the way Bill Clinton wants to do them. To pay for his increased spending in Arkansas, Bill Clinton raised state taxes. And not just on the rich. He increased the sales tax by 33%, imposed a mobile home tax, the beer tax. He assessed a tourism tax, created a cable TV tax, supported a tax on groceries. And now, if elected president, Bill Clinton has promised to increase government spending $220 billion. Guess where he'll get the money? The world is in transition. The defining challenge of the 90s is to win the economic competition, to win the peace. We must be a military superpower, an economic superpower, and an export superpower. In this election, you'll hear two versions of how to do this. Theirs is to look inward, ours is to look forward. Prepare our people to compete, to save and invest so we can win. Here's what I'm fighting for. Open markets for American products, lower government spending, tax relief, opportunities for small business, legal and health reform, job training, and new schools built on competition ready for the 21st century.